Sometimes waiting for the light to change so you can walk across the street can feel like an eternity. So it's nice to have those signal buttons you can push to get the signal a little bit quicker. Yeah, but do those walk signal buttons even work? And does it help if you hit them more than once? KXLY 4's Melissa Luck has the answer in tonight's Good Question. If only we could all get this kind of attention when we tried to cross through an intersection. Blinking lights and roaring horns, and no question, we were coming through. For us mere mortals, however, this will have to do. Yeah, we press it, but it doesn't seem to do anything. You just kind of got to wait for it to, uh, to change. It's Sometimes I press a button, I don't know if it's going to work. <laughs> That's Stan Mattingly. For him and the rest of Spokane's walkers and bikers, the pedestrian button gleams with hope. Hope you'll get that light to change. And I've been known to have my wife jump out of the car and go tap it for a light that doesn't seem to change, but it might seem to change for the crosswalk button. But is this an exercise in futility? Are these buttons even connected? They are all connected in the city of Spokane. Val Melvin is the signal operations engineer for the city of Spokane. She told us the buttons do exactly what they're designed to do. You have to push it in order to get the walk signal to come up. If you don't push it, the walk signal won't come up. Hear that, Stan? The walk signal. You're not going to make the light turn green any faster. But when it does, that happy little blue guy will invite you to walk. If you uh, stand here and wait and don't push it, you will never get that walk indication. And, and legally, you're not allowed, you're not supposed to walk out into the intersection without that walk indication. It's actually um, a ticketable offense. So. But there are rules here, folks. First, don't beat on it. You'll wear out the springs. Next, make sure you know which signal goes with your crosswalk. You got to look at the sign. This one is for that way. This one is for that way. So. And the cardinal rule of the pedestrian walk button? Just have to push it once, that's all. And then you should get your indication um, as it comes up in the cycle. And that, it seems, is the hardest rule to follow. I'll press it three or four times, sure. You can see it on corners all over the city. Well, maybe it didn't register. Maybe I should push it just one more time. Did it pick up? Maybe I didn't push it hard enough. Nope, buddy, you're all good. Once is plenty. But these rules aren't applicable everywhere. In New York City, for example, these old buttons were disconnected. Out with the leg warmers and big hair of the 80s, making way for new technology. But the signals remain and folks keep on pressing. But out here in the West, we deliver what we promise. So press on, Spokane. Just be gentle about it. It's not going to work any better if you beat on it. With this good question, I'm Melissa Luck, KXLY4 HD News. Now I know. That good question came from KXLY4's own Colleen O'Brien. But we want to hear from you if you have a question or need something answered. Send it to us at goodquestion at kxly.com.